नमस्कार दिस इज संजय मिश्रा प्रेजेंटिंग यू द हेडलाइंस एंड मेजर हाइलाइट्स फ्रॉम एनवायरो नोटेशन पब्लिस्ड इन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू Citing the recognition given by the United Nations Environment Program to Namami Gange as one of the world's top 10 flagship programs to revive the natural world, Union Minister for Jal Shakti Gajendra Singh Shekhawat said, "This award is dedicated to all who have been contributing to the cause of Ganga rejuvenation in their own ways and working at ground level in a targeted manner." It is because of the people river connect that Namami Gange has become a global program like no other. New York Motors get NGT respite over compensation citing reference to the NGT order dated 10th July 2020 in appeal number 40 of 2020 titled as Key Diagnostics Private Limited versus Delhi Pollution Control Committee the National Green Tribunal directed Delhi Pollution Control Committee to revise the environmental damage compensation from 3 lakh 75000 to 25000 the tribunal also directed DPCC to revoke the closure order and allow New York Motors to resume its operation on deposit of compensation amount India's subsidies for renewable energies EVs jump by more than double in financial year 2022 a new report editorial opinion ehs industry growth to go on describes the worldwide ehs market is projected to increase by a cagr of 7% through 2027 asia pacific is expected to see the highest annual growth of any region during the forecast period another editorial opinion plastic conundrum continues discusses how wto members deliberate on allowing and disallowing use of plastic on the basis of carbon dioxide emissions in the q and a section two questions were addressed the first one was whether a construction project after installing online continuous monitoring system for the request to carry out sampling monitoring from nabl or cpcb labs for mof and consent compliances and the second one was is there any kind of penalty imposed by an authority in the event of failure to submit annual report such as environmental statement on time In guest column Maria Batu a PG in environmental science student from Department of Environmental Science Sri Pratap College Cluster University Srinagar writes increasing pollution a global environmental concern please support this channel by subscribing to our environmental weekly newspaper Enviro Notations It is India's first environmental weekly newspaper. You can pay for subscription through the UPI QR code displayed on the screen. Sea level rise and coastline erosion. The average sea level rise increased from 1.3 mm per year between 1901 to 1971 to 3.7 mm per year between 2006-2018 The National Center for Coastal Research NCCR Chennai an office attached to the Ministry of Earth Sciences has been monitoring the shoreline erosion since 1990 using remote sensing data and GIS mapping techniques The Expert Appraisal Committee for Industry Two Sector Projects suggests QCI and ABT disqualification of Ecoman Laboratories Private Limited an NABT accredited EIA consultant IIT Delhi and the University of Helsinki in Finland signed a MOU to improve air quality Maharashtra tops ethanol production capacity India's current ethanol production capacity for ethanol blending with petrol and other uses is about 947 crore liters Maharashtra has the maximum installed capacity of 268 crore liters 
followed by Uttar Pradesh with 205.7 crore litres. CSIR NIO to conduct oil spill study and prepare SOP. Union Minister of Steel and Civil Aviation Jyotiran Ditya Sindhya urges the Indian steel industry to move towards green and low carbon emitting production processes. Addressing the stock taking plenary at UN Biodiversity Conference COP15 at Montreal, Canada, Union Minister for Environment, Forest and Climate Change Bupendra Yadav underlined the paramount importance of the agricultural sector, especially for developing countries. He said that prescribing numerical targets in pesticide reductions is unnecessary and must be left to countries to decide based on national circumstances, priorities and capabilities. Indian Institute of Corporate Affairs IICA launches ESG Impact Leader Program. To know more, please subscribe to Enviro Annotations. It's published every Wednesday. Annual subscription for subcopies comes at a nominal price of Rs. 1100 only. You can pay through the UPI QR code displayed on the screen or to mobile number 9818326647. Please share your valuable comments on this video in the comment section. And don't forget to hit the like button. It costs nothing to you but encourages us tremendously. And also, share this video with your friends and colleagues. And if you have not subscribed so far to this channel, please do it now. You can also share your stories, news, research synopsis, your articles for publication in our print version and share your videos for this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching this. We will come back with another episode for you. Till then, do take care of yourself and your environment.